My guest today is Robert Ware, the president of Anchor Health Administrators, a company he founded over 30 years ago to provide specialist advocate services in long-term care planning for nurses and their families. Coming from a family of many nurses and physicians, Robert witnessed early on the frontline caregivers were every bit as exposed to their need for long-term care planning due to the daily physical and emotional challenges they encountered as the patients they provided treatment for on a daily basis, or even as the caregivers. Anchor Health Administrators is the official LTC provider and designated advocate for the American Nurses Association nationally. The first thing I wanna ask is, how did you become the specialist in providing long-term care for the professional caregivers themselves? Well, I was um, living on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, where I'm originally from, and uh, was uh, going through the procedure of uh, immigrating. And I had a personal experience with my grandmother. Now, I was a financial planner at the time. And uh, in hindsight, I probably have said to myself, many times, well, you should have known, you know, what was possible with Nana, we call my grandmother Nana. And uh, she went to a nursing home, Gary, and she went through a spend down, like we couldn't believe. And so in she went. Um, and very soon, she was completely out of funds, she had spent down. And so it fell upon myself, and five of my cousins to chip in to keep her in this private room in this facility that she really liked. And uh, we were glad to do it, you know, um, all six of us. But um, I immersed myself in it and was astounded at the exposure. And so my, my plan ha had been that I was going to um, uh, establish a new financial planning business in, in Kentucky here but I decided to make a career adjustment to specialize in long-term care. My practice on the island was taking care of nurses and physicians primarily. So I started to work towards that end um, here in, in Kentucky and then signing an agreement uh, many years ago now with the American Nurses Association for Anchor Health Administrator to administer the long-term care program for the members across the country. I find it uh, very interesting that um, nurses at a younger age now are looking into long-term care for themselves because I guess they see what happens with their patients and their patients' loved ones when they don't have it, when they didn't have it. You better be prepared to be older because you will be needing long-term care. And so this is something that uh, the... Um, nurses are so aware of, and that makes them come in earlier. Increasingly, the nurses realize that you have to qualify for this type of coverage. So you want to come in as early as possible. Are they more interested in long-term care facility placement or trying to have long-term care at home? What they will say quite often is, you know, Robert, I know I need a comprehensive long-term care program that covers everything from home health care, adult daycare, assisted living, personal, personal care. But really what I want is as much home health care as possible. And so what we want in our long-term care program is to have very, very flexible home health care so that we can even choose our own caregiver and it can even be a family member or friend so that all of the benefits can be paid in tax-free cash right back into the home. And we have all of the long-term care programs. We have all of the, what we call standalone long-term care programs. And we have all of the hybrids that are a combination of long-term care and perhaps an annuity or long-term care and life insurance, male or female that are filing a claim now for long-term care 69% of the initial claims are for home health care. And of those 
only 15% end up going into a nursing home. Robert, what do you say to a nurse who uh, young, relatively young, and hesitating about getting long-term care policy? It's not just the coverage. It's the peace of mind that goes along with getting this out of your subconscious so that you can just relax, let your shoulders come down and say, and know I've got that taken care of. Because when you're talking about this, these statistic levels, they are, they are very, very significant. It does pay to talk to somebody like yourself who knows all the ins and outs, who can work through the system of the insurance companies and knows which one that are appropriate to your needs. And in particular, since you deal with nurses so much, knows the industry and the needs of the healthcare profession. I think that's extremely important. To have a relationship with the chief underwriters um, in, in the companies so that if there's something that you know where you have an individual applying and on paper, they don't look as good as what they really are, then you want to be able to have a conversation and have the best opportunity you know, to get results from it. So we have the ability to really, with our knowledge of the um, state taxes and the federal taxes, if it's a small business or if one of a couple has a small business, to be able to provide that information and guide them so that we can absolutely get the lowest possible premium. And as advocate you know, for the applicant, um, we want to make sure that they get the, the very, very best value to get the maximum um, um, coverage for the least premium. Robert, what's the one most important piece of advice you'd like to share with professional or family caregivers? The long-term care programs now are the best that they ever have. And, and uh, we will only use companies that are the highest possible rated, A, A plus, A plus plus. And that um, the features are the best that they can possibly um, be. And when actual application goes in, it's approved, policy is received, want to have a review again, a second review, go over it. Just in case you want to adjust the coverage in some way, up, down, or laterally, which we can do, um, and to make sure the policyholder has a very, very good understanding. And